Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you, people? How was your day today? I with uh, a small headache, but nah, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that sometimes happens. Sometimes it's because of the stress. Yes. Uh huh. I go. I was um, to East, seguro. Ah, you and, went to Elise? Uh huh. And one month with medicine. With medicine? Really? Yeah. Wow. So that must be like 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 a kind of a, you know like yeah. hard uh, problem that you might have with your health. Yeah, I is um I did um, so so five or seven tests my mm -hmm. blood mm -hmm. uh, general. Uh huh. Um, all all is okay, uh, but we take a I take a, a radiografía. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tengo que hacer una radiografía. An X-ray, uh huh. Pero en el seguro de que tres meses dicen. No man, in there, for yeah. real, you, you 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 will die there. <laughs> Hi, I'm yeah. Sharon. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, in el seguro, if you have a, a, an appointment today, probably the next appointment will be one year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last time. Uh, my cita, ¿cómo se dice? Appointment. My, my appointment. Uh -huh. uh, to eight months. Eight, eight months. months. Yes, eight months. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of time. Eight. That's a lot of time. That's a, for real, a lot of time. Last time, I, I went last week to, to Elise. I went because you know, since my, my wife uh, had the baby uh -huh. and it was, it was, it was the time to, to put the, the, the shots. You know what is a shot? No. Vacuna. Vacuna. Yeah. Ah. The vacunas. And supposedly the, the meeting was for, let me see. They told us to get there at eight. And the shot, the baby got the shot at about 12. Well, just imagine you had to wait a lot of time and i don't know why because it was not that i mean crowded it was not full of people and i don't know why i had to wait a lot of time you yeah. you you can see there a lot of people just talking about things that are not like related you know like to to, to their work but you don't have like the i mean there's no other way but wait just wait. That's it. Gotta yeah. wait, and that's it. Uh, she's my daughter. She uh -huh. has a year so uh -huh. She like she like English. Ah, cool. That's the yeah. best. That's the best age to learn English. Yes. Because they are like a sponge. No, they can yes. absorb everything. Everything. Yes. My my son too. Uh, he has five he years old. Ah, he's five years old. Really. Wow. he's older that's nice if you had yes. the chance if you really yes. had the chance to put them in a in in a, an, into an academy or something like that it will be very beneficial for them for real it will yeah. help a lot uh -huh. that will help a lot he's my he's my son ah his name is the same the mine ah marco david Marco David Velasquez, probably. Okay, that's the Marcos Junior then. <laughs> yeah, Junior. <laughs> All right, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hi. 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 <laughs> okay, so that's pretty cool. That's really nice. They, they asked me uh, how, how to say some words and, and only ask me every day. Ah, really? of some things um, how to speak 
the number, the color, the uh -huh. everything. Uh -huh. oh, that's excellent. They, that's they really like, like that. That's, a, that's really cool. They will have a great future if they if you, if you put them to speak English for real. Okay. They will. Okay. They will. Uh, that's pretty cool. You got your, your, your own family like kind of big now, right? All right, people. Let's start. Uh, we got a lot of information to share today. Uh, we're going to bring with a new topic, kind of interesting topic, and it's kind of easy for you because it's something that we have discussed in the previous modules. So let's start with that. First of all, I'm going to press the attendance list just to start. Uh, Alfredo Alexander. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Let's see. Amin Carcañengues. I'm here. All right. Carlos Gualberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, great. Domingo Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, good. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yeah. Fatima Alejandra. Fatima has not connected yet. Hilmar Cruz. Nah, Hilmar get connected like kind of later. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present teacher. Now, nah, okay. Let me check Jorge Elvir. I am not, he's not here. Weird. It's always on time. Jose Matias. Present. Okay, very good. Carla de Nasir. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carla is not here. Okay. Marco David. Present. Okay, great. Maritza Alcira. Maritza Alcira. I am, she's already there, but she's just joining. Okay. Marlon Alberto. I'm here, teacher. No, okay, good. Present. All right, good, Marlon. Let's see, Mauricio Alexander. No, he's not here yet. Romeo Alexis. No, he's not here. Oh, let me see. Hey, where is Romeo? Romeo, 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 Romeo. Ah, oh, come on, Romeo. I thought you were not there. Okay, very good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, good. Vanessa Oded. No, it's not here, right? Okay, let's check. William Eduardo. Present. Okay, very good. And Jasmine Melanie. Mm -hmm. I saw Jasmine there. Jasmine? Present. Ah, okay. Present. Okay, good. Let's see, Jennifer Noemi. Present. No, okay. Natalie Vanessa. She's not here. Stephanie Lisette. Probably she connects later. And the last one. Uh, let's see. William Alberto. Present. No, okay. Very good. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Hi, good evening, uh, Hilmar. Ah, you're joining, right? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the attendance list. Give me a second. Here is Hilmar, Hilmar, Hilmar. Ah, yeah, you're here. Okay. There you go. All right, before starting with the new topic that we're gonna have for tonight, uh, let's start with a short, very, very short feedback from the previous topic, the one that we were practicing last class. Now, people, what was the topic that we were discussing last night? What do you remember about that topic? I need a volunteer uh, to tell me. Uh, you say what cloud? Ah, okay. We were using, all right, what clause? Okay. 
And basically, we use a what clause for what? In what occasions can I use a what clause? To express what? Can somebody tell me that? What I need from you is just a short explanation. Mm. Ah, I'm using a what clause in there. Ah. You see? Okay. So, what do I need? All right. Or oh, in that case, why do I need a what clause into a short sentence? Or when do I use a what class? Uh, what do we need is to practice every day. Aha, uh -huh. okay, for example, that's another example. All right, but in this case, in what moment I know that I have to use a what class? For what? Why, what is the reason that I have to use a what class? You remember from yesterday? In what occasions do we need to use what clause? An answer. An answer? Yes, an answer. Mm. Or in the conversation. Or paragraph. Aha, yeah. mm. uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. uh, right. Explication, or, digamos, explicando the process. Explaining the process, aha. Uh -huh. All right, yeah. just to explain a process, all right? Let's remember a what class, listen up, a what class, it is not just to answer a question because let's remember in that case, what, it is not used for a question, all right? A what class is basically to provide additional information about an activity or about something that we want another person to do. For example, for example, if I say, what I need from you is to speak English during the class. What am I saying in that case? Ah, I'm telling you basically that I need you to do something, right? About the class, in the class. So what I'm showing in this case is just to provide additional information about the rules in an activity, right? Or a process. Let's remember that we also can use a what clause just to provide an opinion, an opinion about something, okay? Can you give me an example of how to provide an opinion using a what clause? Mm -hmm. Uh, what's, what was you, or why is necessary uh, this process? This process? Okay, all right, might be acceptable. For example, another one. Listen, listen. If I am providing my opinion, if you people want to speak English, what I will do is to learn and practice new vocabulary. What am I doing in that case? I'm providing an opinion, okay? What I will do is, and then to say something, right? In that case, I, take it as an example for me, for you, right? In that case, that's the way how we can use a what class, right? There you go. So in that case, taking as an example, the ones that we were practicing yesterday, right? And put it into practice all the things that we were doing yesterday. Can you provide me or oh, think in an additional example using as a what clause? It can be providing an opinion, it can be providing a, as the examples that we were practicing yesterday. But what I want from you is applying to this class, applying to this class, the example, all right? provide or create an additional example and give it to me. When you're ready, just let me know. Teacher, I'm finished and you can read the example, all right? You can even write it down in the in the notebook, all right? In the just chat, feel no. Free. Huh? In the chat? Uh, 
it, it will no. be preferable to write for you in, in the notebook and then you can read it for everybody. Okay. Yeah. One it will example. be better that way. Yeah, one example. It can be related to the class or if you don't want to do it related to the class, you can do it related to your daily activity, okay? Or even your work. There's no problem, right? But what do I really want is just one example using a word plus. Finish. All right, perfect. You can read yours. Uh, what I need during a coffee? Okay, what I need is to drink a coffee. Finish. Is there you go. Thank you, Jose. Uh, now, Hilma, read yours. Uh, what I need is a beach vacation. <laughs> okay, a long vacation. There you go. A one, a one year vacation, Hilma. There you go. <laughs> Okay, Maritza, read yours. What I want is to go to the beach on weekend. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very good. To have a relaxing day, right? Okay. COVID, COVID. <laughs> the beach. Okay, not, not all the time. I mean, when, there, when there is like a, you know, like a holiday, I, I can't believe that there is a lot of people on the beach. But during, like, you know, like weekends or days that are not like holidays, it is empty. The beach is kind of empty. That is good, your example, Marisa. Okay, who else has finished? Alguien más terminó ya? You finished All right, Marlon, read it. What I should do is to change my internet connection. Nah, okay, very good. Nah. Hey, yeah, by the way, me too. But I need to. I need to increase uh, my internet connection. <laughs> All right, there I you go. To, okay, to, continue. Yeah. But I need to write what I need to write correctly is to practice the voc vocabulary and write every day. Okay. All right, very good. Good example. Thank you, Marco. Any other one that has already finished? Hi. All right, William. Yeah. Okay, William okay. and then Jonathan. Um, what book you read the last year? Uh, technically, is correct, William. The thing is that in that case, it's a question. But in this case, what it is not acting as a question. It is acting as a sentence. For example, William, okay. for example, what I need you to do is a new example. So you see, in that case, this is not a question, okay? It's just an expression, okay? Reformulate, refor reformulate what you have, but don't put it as a question, okay? okay. Okay. Right. Do it again. I, I will ask you again, right? Later. There you go. Uh, Jonathan? What, what I need practice in English. Okay. What I need is to practice English. Okay. Very good. Okay. There you go. Who else has already finished? Teacher. All right, Ever. What we have to do is falling in love with the English and practice more in ah. our, free, our free time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were about to say like falling in love with another woman. <laughs> okay, good example ever. Good, but you're talking that, about the class. I you're talking the about class the class. That, that, yeah, that, that is my idea too, but... <laughs> <laughs> It's not appropriate, right? Okay, okay, good. Okay, who else has already finished? Did somebody else finish? Well, I need the weekend for sleeping very much. Okay, uh, can you repeat that again, Jasmine? Well, I need the weekend for sleeping. 
Okay, what I need is a weekend to sleep very much. Yes. Or to speak, to, I mean, to sleep a lot. Okay, okay. Yeah, me too. I'm expecting to get the weekend to sleep like, like the whole day and the whole night. So I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to hibernate. Okay, Jasmine. Good. <laughs> okay, who, who else has already finished? We'll finish. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, first Rosa and then Domingo. What I need is to sleep more. Okay, like Jasmine. All right. Okay, good. Eso le iba a decir que se parece. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, Rosa. Good. Thank you. Domingo. No sé si le escrito bien o lo he hecho bien. Why? What I see first when I start my work is my tool. What I see when I start my work is? I start my work is my tool. Mi herramienta. My tool. My tool. Ah, okay. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's the first thing that you see. Okay. Very good. Let me see, who has already finished and it doesn't have any. Ah, okay. Ah, Jennifer. All right, Jennifer, you finished the call? Okay, cool. Yes, teacher. My example? Yes. Is what you have to do is pay your bill on time. Thank you for reminding me that I had to pay a lot of bills. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Nah. Ah, but anyways, that's what I got to do every day, right? <laughs> I mean every month. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Uh let me see Fatima. Are you there? All right. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, Fatima, can you please be so kind and give me an example? Okay. What I want to eat uh, a big hamburger. Okay, what I want to eat is a big hamburger. <laughs> okay, good. And I haven't eaten dinner, Fatima. You, how you dare let me mention hamburgers? But anyways, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Fatima. Uh, let's see. William Eduardo. Are you there, William? All right, just give me a second. You see, you see. Ah, William, you are you are like a listener for today. What I need is a new cell phone. Okay, okay, very good. Hey, William, just a question. Ah. Uh, are you as a listener today? Ah, en sí. esta, eh, eh, por es, por es, en esta videoconferencia está como oyente. Sí, teacher, es que tengo un problema ahorita. Que tengo enfermo el niño y estamos pensando con mi esposa llevarlo a, a pasar consulta porque está bien de enfermo. Ah, ok, sí, porque le di en paréntesis ahí la like, listener. Ok. Para tomarlo en cuenta. I right, thank you for, for telling me. And uh, I had another one. It's Mauricio, Mauricio. He had it as a listener too. Ah, oh, yeah, Mauricio, you too? Are you there, Mauricio? No, okay, probably. Yeah, he's gonna be like as, as a listener. But anyways, okay, who else has already be, uh, got it? Okay, Mauricio, there you go. So that way uh, we can like keep going. Let me see, William Marlon has already participated, Rosa Jonathan. Okay. Hey, teacher. All right, Alfredo is missing. Okay, Alfredo. Uh, uh, I have two uh, 
for example, uh, I study very, every day, but uh, what I need is to practice more. Nah, okay, very good. An extended and the one? second, mm -hmm. what I need is um, high school beer. <laughs> okay, all right. Nah, man, on Friday, it's gonna be on Friday. Okay, very good, Alfredo. William, do you already finish? Okay. All right. Um, what I need morning? Ah, what I need is uh, morning. <laughs> I I wore the overtime. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I mean okay. everybody. Everybody needs more uh, needs money, right? So you might say, William, what I need right now is. One million dollars. <laughs> that would be, be perfect. Yeah, I mean, only that. Yeah, I mean only that. Only that. I will quit my job. I wouldn't work. I will invest mm -hmm. money. Yeah. I mean, I, I will do a lot of things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe one day. Yeah, I mean, one day. Okay. Good. So let me see. I'm gonna show the presentation that we're gonna have for tonight just to have a quick review from the things that we're going to have we're gonna have a short discussion for two questions and then we're going to start with the short topic that we got today which is very 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 easy easy one just give me a second yeah i'm gonna show you this one and see where it's presentation at. over here there you go. Can you confirm if you can see my presentation? Yes. yes. All right, yes. perfect. So this is the video conference number three and today's topic is going to be how to use imperatives. When you listen this word, when you read these words imperatives, what comes to your mind people? What do you think is an imperative? Have you ever heard this word before? Because as far as I remember, I'm not pretty sure it was if it was module number three or module number, yeah, or model, module number two. Number two or number three, I'm not pretty sure. But three. you, but you uh, had a topic like this, right? Imperatives. Okay. When you read this word, what comes to your mind? What do you think is an imperative? In your own words, in simple words, what is an imperative for you? Orders. Orders. All right, to give an order, right? To give an order. That's an imperative. For example, if I tell uh, what? Rosa, Rosa, turn on your camera. That is an imperative, right? Or if I say, ah, okay, everybody, turn on your cameras. You see, that is, ah, by the way, thank you for, for, for agreeing, uh, Rosa. Okay, that is an imperative, all right? Basically, an imperative is a command that you give to another person, right? That's what we are going to be focusing and talking throughout, all right, the rest of this class. Okay. And what are going to be the main points that we're going to have it? All right, let's hear it in the class agenda. The review from the previous class is something that we have already finished, right? A moment ago uh, with the uses of the what classes and the examples you provided. That was basically the review or feedback from the previous class. Then we are going to discuss a couple of questions that we got in there. The, those are going to be general questions. My idea with those questions is you to participate, to speak the most as you can, okay? Gonna get that discussion. And right after that, we're going to start, uh, okay, the grammar part, in this case, how to use the imperatives. Then we're going to go to the manual to practice a short conversation that you have in there, okay? Uh, let's remember that we're gonna have those conversations just to gain fluency, right? To practice vocabulary with your pairs. Uh, with your classmates 
and so on. Right after that, we're gonna provide some examples related to the topic, okay? And of course, at the end, we are going to do some exercises related to the topic that in this case is like, like imperatives. That's pretty much what we have for the rest of the class. Okay, let's start. Let's remember that the, that the questions I got in here, just to discuss, are always related to uh, things with, uh, with the business, right? With the factory. Okay, this is the first question. I got just two questions. Amilcar, help me read the question, please. Okay. What is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? Ah, okay, good. Taking in general, in general, when you go to buy something, it can be, uh, uh, you know, like a car, it can be a house, it can be uh, what, a device, like a computer, cell phone, whatever, all right? Put it into context. Let's, let's take a look at this. What is the first thing that you pay attention, right? When buying that product, that specific product, what is the first thing that you pay attention to? The, the quality, teacher, and okay. the price. All right, the, the price. price. The price. The price. No, okay. All right, let's go one by one. If you're talking about the price, what other, uh, you know, like things you pay attention and why you pay attention to those little things. Okay, let's put that into context. I will give you one or two minutes for you to think, think, listen, think. If you think it's the price that you pay attention the most, why do you pay attention to the price? If you pay attention to, to what? The quality, why do you pay attention to the quality? You got to explain to me in your own words that process, okay? As I told you, you can put it up like, like in any aspect, as a device, like when buying a house, when buying a car, whatever, right? But you have to tell me with your own words, why do you pay attention to those little details, like the price, like the quality, or even the color, or even the, the, the size, you know? everything okay i will give you time for you to think when you are ready let me know okay and you can start uh, participating with this question right okay let's just start thinking i will give you the chance the chance for you to think and then tell me everything has to be focused on the question let's remember what is the first thing that you pay attention when buying a product? And you got the reason. Uh -huh. for, example, for example, when buying shoes, I look for good quality so that they last. Ah, okay. a long time. Okay, they last a long time. Uh -huh. and good price. And a good price, okay. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. When you buy, when you buy shoes, Jennifer, you go straight to the to the brand of the shoes, or it can be any brand. Depends. It depends on what. Generally, the brand, the good brands, uh -huh. uh, they last. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Not all, but. The, la mayoría. Most of it? No okay. todas las marcas dura tanto. No todas las marcas cara dura tanto. Ah, yeah. I mean, there are some very delicate uh, brands that are like expensive. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. No, man, they're, they're, they're very delicate. For example, in clothes, there are very delicate clothes that are really expensive that you cannot even wash it by your hand. It's like very delicate sometimes, and it's expensive. Okay, Jennifer, good. Teacher, uh, no sé si está mía, sería. All right. Where, it, where it was manufacturing? Where it was manufacturing? How come, yeah. why? why? Why is it important for you, uh, the, the location where that product uh, was manufactured? 
for example, is for China is bad. <laughs> it, it, it's bad. Okay, if the product is made in China, it's a bad product. Why, Herman? <laughs> Because, because it's a replica or, 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 or why? I have no. Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example of a product that you can talk about? For example, teacher, the shoes. Uh -huh. when, when I buy the, the shoes, I see you the quality. You see the quality of the because product? It's, uh -huh. because it, it's not the same um, as shoes. I don't say cuero, but Leather? another uh -huh. material. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. No, no good. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. If it is not leather, it, it might be not good. Okay. Uh -huh. Good point. All right, good point, Amilcar. So it's mostly the quality for you. Ah, uh -huh, Hilmar, let's go back with you, Hilmar. Can you mention a product that you might be talking about uh, uh, that you look the, the, where is is created or made in this case? I haven't finished with you. Hilmar. Hello, <laughs> teacher. Okay. <laughs> Don't understand. Uh, other, other, other example? No, 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 no. Like another example. You, you, you said, okay, you said that basically that you pay attention to the place where the product is created or made, right? Okay. Uh, okay. When you're talking about where the place uh, it, it matters, uh, to what kind of product you're talking about? Just, uh, just to mention a general product. That's what I want. Uh, the cards. The cards. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. A computer picture. Um, ah, computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, cell phones. Ah, cell phones. Really? Hi. It's a very or or toys, or toys. toys. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Japanese. <laughs> Chinolandia. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay, Hilmar. I got your point. Thank you. Hilmar, si oye los chinos por por COVID será. Okay. <laughs> and maybe, maybe. Uh -huh. maybe. maybe. <clears throat> for example, teacher, it's not equal to buy toys, for example, in Jugueton, that uh -huh. to buy uh, a grand dollar. Ah. Hmm? Teacher, okay. my experience in, in articles, uh -huh. the Japanese is the the most quality and uh -huh. in the manufacturing the machines japanese is very uh high the quality okay. but the china uh, is not that much no no not more but uh -huh. because uh falling and the piezas no como se dice piezas Parts. Uh -huh. The parts, uh, it's low, low, low quality, and it's a uh, uh, cost. The cost se incrementa. Uh, no responden, sí. Tenemos okay. ese. We had, we have that experience, mm -hmm. and it's so, so bad. Yeah, I can't. So tell. sorry, but China uh, work with um, material recycling. And the uh, long the, the long life of the article. They don't last very, that much. Now, ah, okay. Very that, short. That yeah, it's true. Okay. Teacher. Uh -huh. Lo bueno, bonito y barato, teacher. 
¿Cómo se dice? <risa> the good, the bad, and the cheaper. For example, <risa> the refaction cars, teacher, um, uh, eat the better uh, Japanese or Germany. United States that to um, Korean. Ah, the Korean one? Okay. Uh -huh. Thai, or Taiwan. Taiwanese. Ah, okay. Not the same. Not that really the same. Okay. No. Uh -huh. All right. I have, I have experienced the mechanic of curves too. And when when the 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 part uh, say uh, I have the Japanese, but it's very expensive. But I have this China uh, and so sorry, Japanese. <laughs> Yes. Ah, all right, all right. Yeah, it can happen sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow block will be sending pink. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Okay, let me see. Someone that has not already participated, let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. Alfredo, when you buy something, What's the first thing that you pay attention to? Uh, usually, uh, I see the price ah, for the my price. budget. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the patches, oh. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It depends uh, on how money you want to spend. Uh -huh. Yes, the quality, the cost is high. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. The best model. Exactly. Yeah, we got to find out a bargain, right? <laughs> yeah, las cachadas. <laughs> okay, good. Fatima, how about you? What's the first thing that you pay attention to when you buy something? Uh, is the price? Uh, the price. Because I have a budget destinated for my for buy all right a budget destinated to buy something right okay uh-huh like when you buy uh a pair of shoes you got a budget of what uh fifty dollars or less no fifty dollars fifty dollars huh? okay all right all right nice okay fatima jose how about you mm, it depends depend of the product Depends on uh, the product. Uh -huh. And if my product is a motorcycle, uh, Germany is more quality. Yeah. Germany? Yes. Yeah. Triumph. Nice quality? Oh, yes. Okay. Germany. Nice. And, and the machine in uh, the, my world is um, Germany. Now, nah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Delbert. All right. I, 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 bought last time. I bought a motorcycle that that, that is. I, I think it's made in India. The mm. Pulsar, a uh, Pulsar. And so so. Kind of right. Uh huh. It's, yeah. like, it's more the, the quality that, uh -huh. Germany. Yeah. The thing is that I, I, I got a broken, you know, part, and I haven't found that part. Uh -huh. that's, that's, that, that drove me crazy. Man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Good. It depends on the on on the product. Okay. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, let me see who else has already participated. Ah, uh, let me see. Jennifer, Jonathan, how about you? Um. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what what they see. What they what they see. Ah. Any problem with the audio? Ah, Jonah, Jonathan. Uh, I, I think you got uh -huh, audio problems. Porque escuchamos uh, muy poquito de su audio y mucha interferencia. Uh, 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 uh,
ya está soldando. Ajá. No, no, no. Ah, Jonathan, vamos a ver ahora. Sí, sí, es que sí, Jonathan tiene como problemitas de audio, casi no la escuchamos. Y se escucha como mucha, como tronazón de cosas. No, ah. como que no ha conectado bien el, micro, el micrófono. Ajá. Mira, que use buenos electrodos, dígale. ¿Está con el teléfono, Jonathan? Sí. Yes. Sí. Ah, ahí está, ahí está. Es que eh, sí, le escuchamos bien, bien, bien entrecortado. Ahora. A ver, continúe hablando. Hola. Ahora sí, ahora sí, ya. No. You have a problem with my. Eh, y si le quita los audífonos por un momento, Jonathan. Vamos a revisar, a ver, tal vez, tal vez ahí. Ahora sí me escucha. Ah, ahora sí. Sí. Ahora sí, sin, 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 sin ese, ese ruido así como, como que estaba golpeando. Sí. Ya pasó los datos, ya dejó de robarle al vecino. Estaba soldando. Hola, Jonathan. Cuando compras algo, Jonathan, ¿cuál es la primera cosa que te pones atención a? Ok. Este. No sé. No sé. ¿Qué ven? 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 Uh, ajá, no, ajá. Sé, no sé lo que lo, lo que veo mm, but I mm, sería así ajá but but what I <coughs> ajá I, I see ajá is presentation for example by shoes ajá ajá mm, but mm -hmm. Pero después. But then, ajá. But then. Sí, the price. Ah, ok, the price. Ajá. Ya, mira, es realmente. I don't buy. I don't buy. All right, if it, it depends on the price. If it is expensive, you don't buy it. Ok. Yeah, I mean, don't, don't, don't be like a friend that, that he went to, to, to buy it to, a, what was it, Walmart? Yeah, on Walmart once, and he got a chart. You know, like, you know what is a chart, right? Un carrito. In there, and he was putting things, 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 buying things, and when it was the moment to pay, he had to return a lot of things because he didn't have money, enough money to pay. <laughs> and that, that was like kind of, uh, you know, like a shame. Like going back to put the things because the money is not enough. Yeah, I mean, the payment, the, I mean, the price of the product is really, really important in that case, right? All right, Jonathan, thank you. Marlon, how about you, Marlon? About the things that I pay attention. Uh huh, the first thing that you pay attention to. Well, for example, if it is uh, a smartphone, the storage, the ah, okay. cameras, uh -huh. the prices, okay. maybe the style or the design that it has. Okay, good. And I think uh, there are the most important things. Yeah, I mean, ready to buy the new iPhone 13. <laughs> if the money is enough, <laughs> okay. One, one leg is the cost. <laughs> one kidney, man. A kidney. Un riñón. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely true. <laughs> All right, Marlon. One okay. thousand and a half. Too much money. <laughs> Too much. All right, Mauricio. How about you? Uh, the warranty. Ah, okay. Yeah. Warranty. That's a, that's another good one. The price. Okay. Uh, the brand. The brand. Okay. Uh, the seller attention. 
Okay, all right, good. Those are good specifications that you get pay, to pay attention first. Combine something, okay, good. Let me see. Thank you, Mauricio. Now, Carlos, how about you? Hi, teacher. Hi. But what, what's the first thing that you pay attention uh, to combine something, Carlos? Uh, when uh, buying a product, the first thing I pay attention is the brand mm -hmm. or the in, in the quality. Okay. Uh, the color, the price. Uh huh. The color. And um, before I product, I take a look in uh -huh. something place. <laughs> okay. All right. But you're not the type of person that, for example, if you buy some, if, if you see something really good and you want to buy it, but you see the money is not enough, you say like, ah, but you don't have it in another color. And the person says like, no, I don't have it in that color. Ah, okay, I want it in that color, so I'm not gonna buy it. That happens to me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that happens to me like, like cuando va a comprar algo y ve que no le ajusta y, eh, el presupuesto y dice, ay, no lo tienen otro color. Ah, no, fíjense, ay, es que yo lo quería en ese color precisamente. Ay, después va a ser, dice. <laughs> that happens sometimes. That really happens. All right, Carlos. Good. Let me see two more participations and we're going to end up uh, to move on. William uh, Rodriguez. I got two William. Okay, uh, in my case, in the food, I pay attention in the day, the, the spirit. Ah, okay, the expiration uh -huh. day. In the other, for example, computer and the, um, the I pay attention in the physics. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. Uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, the different the other. Ah, it's different to others because they don't look Okay, uh -huh. that uh -huh. might be different okay. to others. All right. Related to food, as you said, last time I went to a restaurant uh, near my house, and you know what? I, I, I eat everything, and I, I, I requested a drink, and when I drink the, the, the beverage, the, the bottle of uh, it was a juice. And when I see, when I saw the, the expiration date, supposedly that beverage had two months of being expired. Tenía dos meses de vencido. Yeah, I mean, and I was like, what? But nothing happens. That was the good thing. Yo soy de los que primero beben y después se fijan en la fecha de vencimiento. I mean, but in that case, si lo, si, si lo siente amargo, solo lo saca de regreso. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. So now, the second question was related to, to, to the things, but uh, let, let's, let's put it into context and uh, let's go on, right? Uh, what is the most important thing for you? Something that you have already said. Ya prácticamente me respondieron esta otra dentro del... Circular de la pregunta uno, así que let's move on. What is an imperative? That was the main topic, okay, in which we were to talk about. Okay, now take a look at this. Uh, Marco, help me out reading, please. Right. <clears throat> Use imperative to give an order to give instructions or to make invitations. All right, listen up. We use basically imperatives to give an order, okay? To give an order, like for example, if I tell everybody, hey, turn on your cameras. Supposedly, for me, that is an order, right? All right, another one, to give instructions. When I tell you to do an activity and I give you the steps, Ah, okay. The first thing that you have to do is go into the breakout rooms and practice the conversation, okay? After practicing the conversation, 
answer the questions, blah, blah, blah. And that, that is a series of instructions that is basically related to providing instructions, right? So that is an imperative. Why is it an imperative? Because I am telling you what to do or to make invitations. All right, that's another one, right? right that's another one, not to make an invitation. But let's see a couple of examples up here. Let's see something else. It says, imperatives, listen, imperatives do not have a subject. That's one thing I want you to pay attention clearly. When we give an imperative, we don't use a subject into the imperative sentence, okay? For example, if I tell everybody, okay? If I tell everybody, turn off your microphones. Turn off your microphones. So in that case, if you take a look in there, the imperative is turn off your microphones. That's the imperative one, right? Why? Because in that case, I am using the verb that provides the action, okay? The verb that provides the action, and then the action itself, okay? Like the complement. But I am not using a subject, okay? So basically, that's what we got with an imperative. Pay attention, please. Exactly. One example. That's another one. Exactly, right? Pay attention. In that case, you don't say I, you, he, she, it, we, or they, or mention a specific person, right? It's just pay attention. Okay, that is an imperative, right? All right, examples. Look at this. Open the door. That's a very common imperative, right? That we generally use, like open the door. Okay. Another one. Close the door. Okay, that's another close very common common imperative. Exactly, right? Like close the window, open the window. Okay. Like another one. Go to buy new equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically that is an order. Right? That is an order. You got to buy raw material. Exactly, right? Like got to buy a raw material. There you go. That is basically an imperative. Okay, so let's see. Let, let's see uh, some extra couples of examples just to move on. Uh, I don't know if you're taking notes about this. Are you taking notes? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. All right, if you are not, like, take notes. So uh, right after you take notes, I can continue with the next uh, presentation. Let me know when you finish writing. Just let me know. All right. Okay, in your house, people, in your house, just to put a, a, as a general example, in your house, what are the most common imperatives that you give? Or you, or, or yeah, that you give. Let's put it that way. What are the most common imperatives that you give in your house? Only in your house, not related to work. It's quiet. Clean the house. Okay, my name says clean the house. Okay, there you go. Be quiet. Saca el perro. Take out the dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make the, Make the bed. Okay. Good. Do the dinner. Do the I'm hungry. <laughs> Do the dinner. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right. Do the dinner or make the dinner. Okay. Good. Another one. What happened with the rest of the people? Let me see. Marco, what was what's one common uh, uh, imperative that you need to have? Take take the attendance. Take the attendance. Nah, man, that's not an imperative. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in your house, in your house. Uh, no, I, I say that because it's nine o'clock. Is it? Is it nine o'clock? Ooh, interesting. Turn off uh, the light. Uh, turn off the light. 
Around okay. the life, throughout the life. Okay. Uh -huh. Pay the bills. Pay the bills, okay. Pay the yeah. bill. Okay. Um, All right. Another one. Domingo, what is the most common imperative that you give in your house? Is uh, you you sleeping uh eighteen eight eighteen o'clock. Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. Go to eight sleep o'clock. at eight o'clock. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you tell that to your to your kids? Ah uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, man. Fatima, what, what is your vecino? Ah, yeah, man, the neighbor. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fatima. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes after eating. Okay, good. Yes. And they were like, no, no, wash them all. No, no, I don't want. To. Yeah, I mean, I hate washing the dishes. Make the dinner. Make the dinner. Okay, good. That's another one. Uh -huh. Vanessa. Take a what shower. <laughs> Take a shower. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> In the morning. Okay, all right. In That's the morning. <laughs> all right. Okay. Or in the afternoon. Yeah, I mean, uh, when I when I'm <laughs> when I'm at home, when I'm at home, and it's like what, twelve, and I haven't taken a shower. My wife says, "Hey, take a shower." And I was like, "Why? <laughs> I had the rest <laughs> of the day to take a shower." <laughs> yeah, man, it's, I'm like kind of lazy when I'm a, when I'm at home. All right. Jasmine, what is one common uh, command that you give in your house? Close the eyes. Close my eyes. Close your eyes? Like, Close my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. My eyes. Uh, I mean, to whom do you get this kind of uh, imperative? <laughs> Depende. A quien le dice Jasmine que cierre los ojos? No vea. A baby. The baby. Igual que le pone esa clase de órdenes al niño, se va a caer. Para que se duerma, teacher, para que se duerma. Ah, ah. ah. <laughs> ok, ok. <laughs> para que se duerma, ok. All right. Ok, I, I, I got it, Jasmine. All right, good. Ok. <laughs> ah, let's Shut see. up. Ok, good. All right. Qué mal pensado sos, Matías. Oh, yo no me puse a reír. Ay, por, no, lo men pues. por lo menos se despertaron, va. Con la mala Ay, cabeza que tiene Domingo, okay. cochino. Hey, what's up, dude? Ok, I'm gonna pass your test. Hey, Domingo, what's up there? Ok, good. I'm gonna pass your test, people. Uh, Alfredo Alexander. Alfredo. Present. Ok, uh, Amilcar Cañengues. Present. Okay, good. Hey, Amilcar, one question. Uh, you just have one name? Is it? What? Only one Excuse name? Me? Only one name? Yes. Only Amilcar? Yes, is my last name. Ajá, ajá. Ah, okay. Solo un nombre. Ten. Only one name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Good. Shorter. <laughs> okay, uh, Carlos Valberto. And by the way, I don't like my name. <laughs> It's the only name that you don't like. Lo, lo, lo el, el el I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Just Estaba imagine. caro cuando lo pusieron. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. I mean, having having only one name and you don't like your name. Oh my God. That's like like for example, in my case, like Juan Carlos, but I don't like Carlos. I just like Juan. Mm -hmm. I. But in that case, it's only one option and you don't like your option. Ooh, okay. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's see. I uh, yeah, Carlos Gualberto, it's already here. Uh, Domingo Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay. Uh, Fatima Alejandra. 
Present. All right. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right. Jorge, el, el Jorge didn't show up today. Okay, make this. Uh, Jose Matias. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Carla Benazir. She's not here. Matias. Oi. Oi. Marco David. Play the guitar. Present. Okay. Marit Salsira. Play the guitar. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Who plays the guitar in here? Matias. Dime. Can you play the guitar? Can you play the guitar? The guitar of the... Uh... Uh, be the game. Uh, uh, of video okay. game. For uh, yeah, six. <laughs> All right, Maritza, let's see. Marlon Alberto. Present. All right. Mauricio Alexander. Present. All right. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Good, Vanessa Odette. Present. All right, let's see. William Eduardo. Present. Okay, Jasmine Melanie. Present. Very good, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, Natalie Vanessa. Natalie, okay. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, William Alberto. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's continue with the examples that we got in the presentation. And right after this, let's go and practice the short conversation that you got in the manuals. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, the next examples. Ever, help me out reading this one, please. Clean your room tomorrow, please. Okay. Clean your room tomorrow, please. Okay, that's a good one. Romeo. Wait, uh, excuse your report for the new in Investors. investors okay there you go write an explicit report for the new investors okay there you go if you take a look in there we don't have any subject in those type of uh examples right we don't have i you he she it we they anything about that right alfredo let's read this one Sorry, teacher. Uh, buy a new cell phone for your work. Okay, good. Buy a new cell phone for your work. Excellent. Let me see. Give me a second. Make this shorter. Stephanie, let's read this one. Uh, open a bank account. Okay, very good. Open a bank account. Vanessa. Uh, prepare your presentation. Okay, very good. Prepare your presentation. There you go. And Jasmine. Uh, speak English in class. Okay, very good. Speak English in class. Okay. And let's see the old one, William Rodriguez. Okay. Do your homework every day? Okay. Do your homework every day. There you go. So this is basically the series of examples related to, uh, you know, commands or imperatives that we can have in here, right? Okay, right up to now, people. Do we have any questions related to this topic? 
how to use imperatives or what is basically an imperative? Do you have any questions? Something that might not be clear uh, until now? Oh, everything is understandable. Do we understand everything? I understand. Okay, very good. Domingo, do we understand everything? Okay. So do you have any questions? Uh -huh. I'm talking about the topic in general. Oh. Estamos hablando del tema en general. Eh, eh, ¿Hay algo de que, que, que tenga alguna duda o, o todo está entendible hasta acá? Ya, ¿Todo está? Ajá. Everything All. Okay? All. Everything okay? Okay, very good. Yeah, because okay. my idea, let's remember, my idea is that everybody uh, can understand 100% what we are doing, okay? Yeah. Very good. All right. If you understand everything, let's go to, 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 to the manual, okay? In there, we're going to do a series of practices, especially with a short conversation that we're going to have there. So I'm going to stop the presentation for a moment. Give me a second. And let's go to page... 13. 14. 13. Okay. 13. Go to page 13 in your manual. And it's basically this page. Okay. So I'm going to put this one. Okay. I guess you can see my, 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 uh, my PDF. Okay. Ah. Huh. It says, tell someone to do something by using imperatives. Now we understand what is an imperative, right? So let's put this short conversation into practice then. If you understand this part, right? It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. What are we going to do in this case, people? I am going to read the conversation. And as always, when I finish reading the conversation, if you have any question with the vocabulary, then you can tell me, right? Uh, the words that you might have problems with or if you have problems with the pronunciation, okay? Right after that, we're gonna go in pairs to practice the short conversation, you know, to practice the fluency and the vocabulary that we got there. And also, of course, the pronunciation. This is a conversation between Mrs. Nunez, okay, or in this case, Miss Nunez, actually, and Mr. Roland. It's kind of short, the conversation, actually. Miss Nunez and Mr. Roland. It says, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Listen. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez. My name is Miss Nunez. And I'm, listen, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Okay. I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. It says, Mr. Roland, nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Nice to meet you, <coughs> Miss Nunez. Where do we start? Where do we start? It says, Miss Nunez. First, you are in charge of stopping the con it's an app. conveyor belt. What conveyor mean? belt. Okay. Please push this red button. Please 
page is red button or bottom if you want to, to, to make it clear. Second, grab a pair of tongues. Grab a pair of tongues and pick every piece and pick every piece of the cho of chocolate of chocolate read this chart read this chart and check every piece and check every piece make sure each meets the specifications make sure each meets the specifications in this chart in this chart third third place the defective chocolate place the defective chocolate in this funnel in this funnel finally fill in a report finally fill in a report at the end of the day at the end of the day about the defective pieces about the defective pieces okay good from here people from this short conversation do you have any question related to the vocabulary yes teacher okay cover your belt all right that one is when there is a production in a company okay and it's basically it's basically it's like a belt what is a belt es como una línea okay metálica donde va básicamente es como una faja donde mm. van los productos okay es esa faja metálica donde los productos van pasando, van pasando. Van trasladando. exactly es una banda es básicamente banda, una banda. transportadora there you Eso, go Bárbaro Matías. Good. there you go very good yeah I mean in which you can transport the product right básicamente cuando están siendo creados thank you very good any other vocabulary grab a pair of tongue All right. grab agarra un par de what is tongue guantes Huh? One, now, okay, you can be that one. All right. Any other translation that you might get for that? Funnel. Huh? Funnel? Funnel. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, funnel. Funnel is basically a embudo. An embudo. Oh, okay. Yes. Here you go. Any other word? Chart. Chart? Chart es como de tabla, ok, con información. Chart. Yes. What is tongues, teacher? Basically, tongue is related to, let me see, in this case, uh, please put this red button. Grab a pair, grab of, a tongue. pair of tongues. All right, tongues in this the case NASA's. are like the NASA's. When you grab mm -hmm. them, when you grab them. En este caso es con las que agarra. En este caso es con las que agarra el chocolate que dice ahí. Tongs, tenazas. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, ok. Es un yeah, like the ones. ¿Qué dijo que era sharp, teacher? Es como recuadro. Básicamente es una tabla donde hay información. Chart. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, en este caso, like, the tongs son, son como las tenazas con las que van agarrando el producto. En este caso, the chocolate. Ok, ok. Yeah. Y Or not pick, grab them with the hands. Pick, teacher. Pick. Pick, pick, like recoger o agarrar. ¿Dónde está? Yes. Let me see it. Pick, pick, pick. Yes, This token. one. Um, pick, pick. Pick and pick uh, every piece. Ya, yeah, recoja, right? Cada pieza o cada 
pedazo, right? De chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any de other color. word? Todas las piezas de chocolate. Ajá. Uh -huh. Stopping. Funnel. What Stopping. is funnel, teacher? Yeah. Funnel, I said it. It's like an, it's como embudo. It's embudo. Stop. Ah, okay. Funnel. 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 Fun Stopping. Stopping. Uh -huh. Teacher, no, the stopping is basically. Let me see. Where is it? Ah, in charge of stopping the cover. Exactly. Es el encargado de apremir el botón para que la esa paja exacto se detenga. Corre y se detenga. Ayudo. Teacher. Ajá. Please repeat the meeting, the funnel. 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 Funnel is basically an embudo, right? Embudo. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. Any other word? Mm. Or pronunciation Pero, that you might have problems with? Uh -huh, teacher, embudo o podría ser una parte de esa máquina? No yeah, basically, un, es que básicamente es como, una, es como un área donde va a caer todo, toda esa zona, ah, right? okay. Que parece embudo. That's, that's why it's okay. called funnel. Una tolva. Ah, una caray. tolva, cabal. Como para ah, molerlo. Exactly, right? There you go. Mm. But it looks like an embudo, that's why it's called funnel. There you go. Any other word from there that we got problems with? Uh, it might be in pronunciation. Oh, everything is okay Conveyor now. belt. Conveyor belt. All right, conveyor belt. Yeah, let me see. Conveyor, conveyor belt. Uh -huh. Conveyor Conve belt. Conveyor belt. Conveyor okay. belt. Yes. You know what is a belt, right? Conveyor belt. What is belt? Campana belt. Huh? No, that's <laughs> belt. Belt. <laughs> Campana is belt. Intro. Double L. Belt, belt can be a uh, cinturón o cincho, uh -huh. o like seat belt, cinturón también del, por ejemplo, seat belt, like como cinturón de seguridad, right? Uh -huh. yeah. ¿Y, y cómo se diría ahí conveyor? Conveyor belt es la banda, de, the name specifically is the one that you said, right? Banda transportadora, that's like conveyor belt. I like feel belt. Fill in a report. Fill in is basically, fill in, this one over here, fill in es uno solo. Eso es considerado en inglés como un phrasal verb y significa llenar. Ok, mm -hmm. fill in, llenar, cuando llenamos una hoja, ok, de, con mm -hmm. información. That's fill ah, in. Ah, no es firmar, no es firmar, teacher. No, no, fill in es llenar, ok, mm -hmm. con información. Es un, un verbo firmar. Yes. Finish, 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 finish and report. Exactly. In this case, it means that you have to create a form. Okay. Or make a report. Okay. When you write a report about something. Let's fill in. Right. Fill in a report. 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 Fill in a Prácticamente, ¿verdad, teacher? Que las partes que están más en negrita son los was in a imperative. Exactly. Los que están involved en negrita son básicamente los imperativos, right? En este caso, acá básicamente lo que está haciendo ella es dándole instrucciones a él, ¿ok? Estos imperativos son básicamente eh, a modo de instrucción, right? To provide instructions, all right? Yeah, to this person, this new worker. Yeah, very good. Okay, uh, any question related to the pronunciation or are we okay right now? Because we need to practice this information, right? This short conversation, we're gonna go into practice. Let me see, how many are you right now? 20. Nos ah, parece okay. los manuales que veo yo en mi trabajo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> there you go. If you don't have any other question, let me see. This is okay. Good.
who's the one? William, are you there yet? Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, you can practice now. Great. Teacher. I'm gonna stop in here. Uh huh. For example, this is third place that detective chocolate. Defective chocolate, ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, ahí le está diciendo que el lugar para detectar los chocolates es el... No, el... listen, listen, listen. Place, place, como nombre significa lugar, ¿ok? Yes. Pero en este caso está actuando como verbo. Y como verbo significa colocar, colocar, ¿ok? Place, como verbo, es colocar. That's what it says in here, right? Place the defective chocolate in this funnel, right? Coloca, okay, eh, chocolate con defecto, okay, en este La depósito, en este depósito, in this case, right? Place. Yes. <laughs> y es lugar como sustantivo. Ajá, like a noun, cuando estamos actuando como un nombre, por ejemplo, si usted dice, I like this place. Ah, entonces ahí sí ya es el lugar. Ok. We mentioned lugar. ¿Cómo vamos a saber eso? Por la posición. Structure. Por la posición, exactly. Por la posición del nombre, o en este caso de la palabra, en una oración. All right? That's, that's la the only thing. De la oración, sí. Exactly. Very good. Now, let's go to practice the short conversation then. Ok. I'm going to put. Mm -hmm. For you in pairs. Give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing this to create. Let me see how many are you. Ah, oh, twenty. Okay. I'm gonna make ten groups, and let's go to work in pairs. Right. Uh, let me see. Let's practice the short conversation for about seven minutes. Seven minutes, and then we're gonna come back in here. Okay. All right. Let's give a set, and let's go to practice. Accept it in there and let's go to practice. Right. Que moleste estar, por favor. Vamos a la práctica. Rosa, are you there? Rosa? Rosa? Hmm. Marlon? Are you there? But I need to do some changes in here. Profile. Plan. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in change of stopping the cover your belt. Please push this, this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongue and pick every pie piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every 
Pace. Peace. 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 Yes. Peace. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Make sure each meet the spe specification in this chat chart. Chart. Okay. First, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Funnel. Fine. Panel. Uh -huh. Very good. Panel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the detective piece. Pieces. Okay. In this case. Pieces. Pieces. Yeah, porque es plural acá en este plural, caso. Sí. Exactly. Pieces. Pieces. Very good. Mi estado. <coughs> okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in chair, chair, uh, church of stopping. The conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart, chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets this specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, filling a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Defective pieces, okay, very good. There you go. Let's keep practicing just to gain, you know, like fluency, right? Teacher, have a question. Okay. And in the question three, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of, of machinery, machinery is there uh -huh. in my workplace or in yes then, in this then case, work? no in this case is personal that that last question is personal only <laughs> only three on la, so la ultima. let me see it says get in pairs and discuss the answers to the questions below all right yeah in that case it's just a discussion all right so you're gonna make with Maritza about these three questions. For example, it says number one, who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? That's related to the conversation, right? Mr. Roland. Must, exactly. Okay. What are some uh, of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Well, responsibility is production line. No, nah, okay, pero aparte de ello, what else? ¿Qué más hace? No, porque, porque ahí le está diciendo Mr. Roland. Y Mr. Roland. Es el, prácticamente el jefe, ¿verdad? No. 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 La ah, jefe no, 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 no. Ok, ok, ya lo entendí. Yes, yes, esa, la, es la, esa es la. Quien ajá, le dice todo eso es eh, la jefa. Ok. La jefa, ajá. Mis, mis Núñez. Exactly, right? Ajá, Entonces, o sea que las responsabilidades son estas, ¿va? Que presione el botón rojo, que correct. saque todo eso, ok. That's correct. Esa duda. That's correct, ok. Good. Entonces, la tercera sí ya es para discusión de ustedes dos, ¿ok? Personally speaking. Ok. Eh, Teacher, y en esa pregunta, ¿quién? ¿Qué significa? What kind of? ¿Qué clase de o qué tipo de? ¿Qué tipo de clase. maquinaria? Exactly. ¿Qué clase ah, de maquinaria hay en su lugar de trabajo? ¿O qué equipo de maquinaria hay en su trabajo? All right. ¿Y cómo se dice eh, guillotina? What is that? Guillotina es para cortar papel. La que se corta papel. Sí. Guillotina. ¿Qué es sí, una, una guillotina? ¿Es ¿Usted una mete? Tabla? No, no, no. Usted mete grupos pocos de papel porque la mía es industrial donde yo trabajo. Entonces ah. usted, usted mete, digamos, tamaño 30 por 40 en pulgadas, unas dos resmas, unos mil pliegos y usted aprieta dos botones y de un solo baja la cuchilla y corta. Ah. Ajá. Vaya, Entonces, a los salvadoreños sería. No, es that's... como. 
¿Cómo, cómo que María? Ya, ya entendió cuál es, cuál es el teacher. No. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, no, eh, eh, pero, yeah, pero ¿cómo I, se I llama know. en inglés? Guillotine. That would be. Guillotine. Guillotine. La, la, I'm going to write it down in here. Guillotine. ¿Y la impresora offset? Print. Impresora. Offset. So that's offset, offset printer. Oh, offset printer. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's I mean, that one is pretty cool, man. It does, it's an industrial one, right? Yes. Simplemente oprime un botón y you like. Dos botones. Si usted ah. solo aprieta uno, no baja la cuchilla porque usted tiene que tener las dos manos ocupadas porque cualquiera puede llegar y apretarle un botón y le baja, le vuela la mano. Entonces, mientras <risa> usted no, no, no apriete los dos botones, la, la cuchilla no baja. Ah. Ajá, aparte que tiene unos láser de seguridad que no permiten que mientras el láser está tapado con algo, no baje la cuchilla tampoco. Uh, uh -huh. Sí, no, no, es bastante seguro, pero uh -huh. cambiar esa cuchilla es lo difícil. Ah, ya me imagino. <risa> <risa> ah, <man. risa> sí, no, pues sí, ahí es lo, yeah. lo difícil. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the difficult. ok, good. Let's continue the practice and, and at the end you can do okay. the questions, ok? Ok, All ok, right. thank All you. Right, Okay, and you start, Melissa. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First. You are okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Miss Vanessa, and I am going to explain what do what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Miss Vanessa. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please. Okay, comienzo okay, entonces. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunes, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in the chart. Here, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end, at the end of the day about the effective pieces. Okay, si ahora, si gusta, comienza tú y que te siga Mauricio. Okay, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and Pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Sir, please place the, the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, filling in filling a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay. Bien, entonces ahora hagamos lo 
tú contigo, Mauricio. Ok. Red button. Second. Second. Uh, right, grab, grab a pair of tongue. Grab a pair of tongue. A pair of tongues. Do you understand the sentences or the imperative? The second imperative? Grab a pair of tongue. ¿Sabes qué es eso? Uh, tenaza. Ajá. Era con, que iba... Que no las va a agarrar con la mano, no con unas tenazas. No. Mira, se en el chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Finally, filling a report at the, at the end of the day about defective five. Excellent. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Alfredo and Marlon. Hello, Mr. Marlon. Today is the first day at the plan. My name is Mr. Rodas, and I am going to explain what you must to do in the third plan. Nice to meet you, Mr. Alfredo. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets a specification in this chart. Third, please. Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the date about the defective pipe. Okay. Y vamos a contestar las preguntas, Yes. Ah, okay. Number one and number two are related to the conversation. And number three is that that is free. Eso es para que ustedes la, discus la, dis la discutan, ¿ok? Ok. Yes. Contestamos las preguntas. Ok. The responsible for stopping the call. Pensé que estaba como oyente y el profesor dice que quizás está como oyente. Ajá, obviamente está como oyente quizás. Sí, como el teacher. What's up? ¿Qué pasó? Que había dejado en pareja de uno a Erwin. ¿A quién? A él. No, no, no. La cosa es que lo había unido, lo había unido. Todos estaban en parejas. Lo que pasa es que Rosa, no sé qué le pasó, pero se desconectó. Justo, justo cuando ya hice los, la, los pares y ya los mandé acá, a Rosa se desconectó. That's why. Por eso ah, sucedió. Bien. Ajá, mm. y luego vi, cuando ya vi, vi todo ahí de general, vi a Ever que estaba ahí bien forever, a lo mejor se lo mandé para acá. Sí, yo por, yo por eso no me salía, porque si me salgo, y si me salgo y me quedo atrapado en un universo paralelo y después no puedo entrar. <risa> No puedo. Yeah. Acá estamos ya. All right, yeah, yeah. Good part. All right. You finished the practice? Yo ya practiqué con Domingo, pero no sé, Ever. Ah, ya. Yeah. Help, help Ever to practice. No sé, Domingo va a practicar con, con, con Ever. No, okay. Sí, está bien. Para que no oiga el teacher, a ver qué onda. Ok, ok. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. 
My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where, where do we start? Where do we start? Okay, first, you are in the charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read the chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications and this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. And finally, filling a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay. Okay, then we'll go to the tortilla. Yes. Okay. Hello, Miss. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do you where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stones and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. And finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. All right, very good. Yeah. There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, now, if you have already finished the practice, what you can do, I'm gonna give you like two minutes, is just to answer question number one, number two, from that. You can find it below that, okay? Okay. That Perfect. I am in question number one says, let me see what is it. Who is it's responsible? Ah, exactly. Who is stopping? responsible for stopping the, the conveyor belt? What are some, uh, you know, like of Mr. Rowland's responsibilities? You can mm -hmm. find it there in the conversation, right? What are some Ms. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. So three more minutes and we are we are going back, okay? Perfect, teacher. Thank there you. you go. Sure. And I can say there place the detective chocolate in this fun. Finally fill in a report at the in the at the end of the day about the detective pieces. All right. Good. Now, people that you have been practicing, I want you to answer just question number one and number two about that pair of words. It says, number one, who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? Who's the responsible person? Ahí me van a dar el nombre de la persona responsable. And number okay. two, it says, what are some Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Ah, ¿cuáles son algunas de las responsabilidades del de señor Rolando? All right, in there you got it at mm -hmm. the end. Okay. I think in three minutes you can do that. All right. Right after three minutes, we go back to the main section. Uh no, that, that would be general. Responden ahorita y allá de manera general voy a preguntar a ciertos grupos. Okay, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Teacher. Uh Jonathan, uh-huh. Uh what do you mean in what kind? What kind of? ¿Qué clase de o qué tipo de? Oh, okay. Yeah, for example, it says, what kind of machinery or machinery, in this case, is there in your workplace? Ah, ¿qué tipo de maquinaria o qué clase de maquinaria eh, hay en su lugar de trabajo? Okay, just to process process. Ah, okay, there's a motorcycle, machinery, right? Okay. There you go. Okay, good. I 
know what happened to these people. Hello, teacher. Hi, man. You finished? Yes. All right, nice. Yes. Okay, very good. I was just waiting for, for, for some people that had a, had a finish already. But if you have already finished, that's perfect. Okay, what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go uh, to the main section and I'm gonna put just like one or two pairs to, to, to practice the, the conversation and we're going to end up in that case, right? Okay. Yeah, I think, let me see. Oh, I think I got it. Let me see. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the main section then. Yeah. See you there. What's up, Vanessa, Jasmine, and Rosa? What you doing here? Hi. Hi. Teacher, nos salimos porque pensamos que nos había olvidado. ¿Cómo que las había olvidado? Ajá. Jesus Christ, no puedo creerlo, no puedo creerlo. Quedamos... Rosa, ah, Jasmine. Nos quedamos, nos quedamos hablando solas, dijimos acá nada más. Y los demás What? están hablando en grupo, dijimos. What? Pero se suponía que ustedes dos eran las que estaban practicando porque se me salía. Y yo llego a la, a la sección de ustedes y digo como que, bueno, ¿y qué se me hicieron? No, pero sí, practicamos varias veces. Ok, all right, you practice, all right, that, that, that's a good thing. No, por eso ya no, no vimos nada. Ok, all right. Rosa, are you there? A mí se me hace que Rosa se me durmió. Ahora, bueno, ya vamos a revisar esto. Ok, good people. What are we going to do with this, this short conversation? Listen. Because of the time, all right, I'm just going to put some uh, some of you, all right, just to practice that short, um, you know, like conversation. And tomorrow, as a feedback, we're going to do something else. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to let you know tomorrow. All right. And here we got the, the short conversation. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh-huh. We answered the question. Yes. The exercise number three. Okay, no problem. It's, it's good. That question is based on your on your own, you know, like opinion, right? From the place you work. That one was not related to the to the conversation, actually. Okay. Ya era a discusión personal, a criterio personal ahí, okay? Very good. By the way, Amilcar, who do you practice with? Uh, with my uh, with William. Ah, uh, with William, William. Uh, na, 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 na. Okay, let me see. William. I know, but this is William Eduardo, and, and this is not William Eduardo. It was the other William. I think. I don't, I don't remember. It's only William. Exactly. The boy, she's very. Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. Mauricio, help me out with Amilcar, please. I want you to practice with this with this short conversation. I just need two volunteers. All right. Okay. okay hello, uh, Mr. Hello. Uh, okay. No, no problem. Continue, please. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Mr. Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Nunez. Ms. Nunez, where do we start? Uh, first, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Uh, please push this breed button. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and piece every piece of chocolate, rig this chart in, and 
check every piece, make sure it meets the specification in this chart. There, place the defective chocolate in this funnel, finally filling a report at the end of the day about the defective piece. All right, about the defective piece, all right. Okay, very good, Mauricio. And uh, Amilcar, thank you. Uh, let me see. Uh, Marco, who are you practicing with? With William, pero oyente, el que era el que tiene. Ah, the one that is oyente. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. William, are you free right now? Hello, William. Okay, I think he's not there. All right, but anyways, I'm gonna put Fatima. Fatima, help Marco to practice. Don't put the face, Fatima. Okay, let's practice. Okay, no sé quién inicia. Yo. Okay, you start and Marco follow up. All right, go ahead. We're gonna end up. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. <clears throat> nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do you start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this rail button. Second, grab a pair of stones and Pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in the chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Now, okay, very good, Fatima and Marco. All right. Now listen, listen people, uh, because of the time and I don't want to have you here more than the required time, okay? Just to make honor uh, to your time because I know most of you are tired. Uh, tomorrow, we will continue with this part. Well, tomorrow, at the beginning of the class, we are going to check the questions, the questions from the manual and also a short activity that is on the next page from there, from the manual, all right? Related to this, we are going to organize those things. Listen, before we go, and then before we, let me see, I'm gonna pass the attendance list and I'm going to explain something that I need we to do besides the homework, okay? Just give me a second. Antes de algunas indicaciones, voy a pasar asistencia. Just give me a second. Because we need to work with uh, some discussion things in the platform. Alfredo Alexander. Okay. All right. Amil Carcañengues. Present. Good. Carlos Gualberto. Uh, Carlos Gualberto, are you there? Present. Ah, okay. Present. Good. By the way, Carlos, today is your 10 minutes feedback, okay? Let's stay with me right after you fin uh, we finish the class. Okay, teacher. Nice. Domingo Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Ever de Jesus. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Fatima Alejandra. Present, teacher. Good. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Excellent. Jorge is not here. Jose Matias. I'm here. Very good. Carla Benacir. She's not here, right? Okay. Uh, Marco David? Present. Okay. Maritza Alcira? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Marlon Alberto? Present. Okay. Excellent. Mauricio Alexander? Present. Okay. Romeo Alexis? Now, Romeo told me that he's. 
he, he ran out of battery. Rosa del Carmen. Ah, no, 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 let me see. Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Where is Rosa? Ah, no, she, she got disconnected. Okay. Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, you were disconnected. William Eduardo. Present. Okay, good. And let's see. Jasmine Melanie. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay. Natalie Vanessa. She should be not here. Uh, Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. Natalie didn't say anything. Dice que le escribí cuando usted pasó lista a las nueve, pero no me contestó. Claro que ella siempre suele conectarse a las clases. Y ahora sí ya vamos clase tres y no se ha conectado. Bueno, ojalá y se conecte mañana. Ok, tell her. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, William Alberto, the last one, which is not here. All right, people, listen. Uh, I'm gonna turn into Spanish uh, just just to finish to finish the uh, the class, uh, just to give a, a general uh, information. Bien, básicamente estamos terminando la clase número tres y en la zona del, de la plataforma, ¿ok? Donde estamos haciendo la sección de las tareas en la parte a la par tenemos en la plataforma una sección que es discussion que ya es bien conocida por ustedes, the discussion section. Listen, de ahora en adelante voy a postear ahí ciertas indicaciones. En cada clase eso va a ser como una práctica adicional que vamos a tener en esa discussion section, en la cual yo voy a colocar una indicación y usted me va a seguir esa indicación a modo de práctica. Por ejemplo, en este caso, si el tema fue okay, imperatives, Voy a colocar una indicación ahí. Ustedes me escriban ciertos imperativos y ahí les voy a indicar qué tipo de imperativo yo quiero que me coloquen ahí. Lo que vamos a hacer es simplemente comentar, ¿ok? No les va a tomar más de dos, tres minutos el poderlo hacer y eso nos va a servir como una práctica adicional, ¿ok? Entonces, aparte de las tareas, de la sección de las tareas que llevamos en la plataforma, a la par está esa discussion section, sección de discusión en la cual ahí lo vamos a poder hacer. Uh, voy a mandar una captura de pantalla al grupo con el nombre que he colocado en esa parte de la sección de discusión para que usted sea, eh, digamos, se le haga más fácil el poder encontrar. Si alguno de ustedes, mmm, por cierto motivo, entran a la plataforma y en la, discusión, en la sección de discusión les aparece todo en blanco, ¿ok? Simplemente basta con darle clic donde dice todos los temas. Y ahí les va a aparecer el temario que vamos a ir colectando. All right. Esto es, como les menciono, una práctica adicional. Ok. Aparte de las tareas que vamos a estar haciendo. All right. Good. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Before we go, antes de irnos. Esa, eh, perdón. Esa es la que aparece después del video. Uh, Abajo no. del video. Eh, no. Eh, la que aparece. No, no, no. En este caso... Va a, ser, va a ser adicional. Eh, digamos, esa es la sección de donde usted hace las tareas. Cuando usted entra a la plataforma y encuentra la sección donde tiene todo el temario para hacer las tareas, en las siglas arriba donde, tiene, donde puede hacer el intercambio, ahí dice discusión. Entonces ahí le da clic y le va a llevar a esa, a esa, a esa forma ahí, ¿ok? Donde vamos a estar colocando los, los, los temas adicionales. Ok, con respecto a, a la práctica que vamos a estar haciendo. Igual ahí le voy a indicar en, la, en, el, en un mensaje que hay okay, en WhatsApp con el nombre de cada uno de los temas para que se les haga más, más fácil el poderlo encontrar. Ok, that's an additional okay. question. There you go. I get it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Could you tell me when I have 10 minutes till? When you had your 10 minutes. Yeah, Hilmar, you're going to be the one of the last one, Hilmar. All right. Just give me a second. I'm going to tell you. Just before we go. Okay. El chico de uh, aire for the rest. <laughs> exactly. For the rest. Okay. Uh, let me see. Elmar. 
10 de noviembre, Hilmar. Ok, vamos a ver, ojalá que no sea bien. Miércoles. Ok, good, perfect. A la ex compañera. All right. <laughs> All right, people, thank you for connecting to the class. See you tomorrow in the last video conference of the week, okay? Bye bye. Good night, See you everybody. Bye bye. Good night, people. Bye -bye. See you Good night, people. Good night. Bye bye. Except Carlos. <laughs> well, good night, teacher. All right, good night, Domingo. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. All right, Carlos, we're going to have like the 10 minutes feedback that we like, you know, like always have. And this is just to reinforce the topics, this topic or the previous topic. If you have any question, any doubts related to them, right? Okay, now, so I come and ask you, do you have any question related to the topics? Ah, uh, you got the microphone off, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, teacher. Uh, yesterday I I came stay in in the, in the class. Ah, uh -huh. you couldn't I stay. I have a problem with my internet. Uh -huh. And today I have a problem with my internet. It's still, uh -huh. <laughs> it's still my my problem. Jesus, but yeah, I mean but, you should uh, change your connection. <laughs> But I I understand the the topic. Uh, yesterday, uh, what about what about uh, what what clouds? I understand. Uh, and today, how to use in practice? I understand this this uh, this sentence and this this thing. No, okay, all right. But uh, how about yesterday? You, you know, like in the period of time that you got disconnected, could you understand the like the topic from yesterday? How to use a what clause? Yeah, uh, uh, what what I want and what I need. Uh, okay. This 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 thing I I can understand. Ah, uh, all right. How about with the first topic? You remember the first topic? Uh, 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 what about the, um, the first and second? Uh, 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 Word to mark a step in the process. Uh huh, those ones. You got them all? <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. all right. Let, let, let's uh, start with that. Let's start with that just to provide a short feedback. Okay. Can you give me, can you give me the process, right, using those steps that you generally do since you wake up until you go to bed? Can you describe it using that process? Using well, those words, of course. Before I go to bed. Later, uh -huh. later. Anna, since, since you wake up until you go to bed. <laughs> yeah, as okay. a general, as a general, right? Not 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 every everything is specific, but something general. Just 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 to see, okay, how's your development on that? Okay. First, uh, first wake up in the morning. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, uh, first wake up. At the at the four thirty a.m. Okay. And second, I go to work. I I go to work. Third, enter to my my plan, and and to my and to my my work. Okay. <laughs> And two and then uh, at the noun say my lunch. Okay. Uh huh. For for how hour? For one hour. Okay, you got the lunch for one hour. Very good. And later at the four thirty p.m. I 
I go out to my work. Ah, okay, very good. To get out of work. Uh -huh. And finally, <laughs> and finally, and, and I around the around the the six p.m. Mm -hmm. around the six p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I go home. I go home. Uh -huh. And say my class English. Ah, okay. And say the English class. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> All right. There you go. Right after you finish the English class, what do you do? Right. After you finish the English class, what do you do? Well, I say I prepare my my clothes for for the next year for work. Okay, for for work in the next the next day. No, okay. The next day, yeah, <laughs> the next day. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so it makes me think that you have the rest of everything related to 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 that topic. Okay, that, that's excellent. That's excellent. And uh, let me see. By the way, I, I forgot. What was the topic from yesterday? Like, well, uh, yeah, I, I understand. I am in the what class, right? Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I just wanted you to mention it. Okay, good. Can you provide me one example using a what class? Yeah, um, what, I, what I need is a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I need is a new computer. Yeah, actually, me too. I do really need a new computer because this one I had to put it con. I had to have it when it's on when I'm working. I had to make uh, to put it connected to the energy. If I disconnect it from the energy, it shut down. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, really? it's a laptop. Yeah, the battery is 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 there. That's My computer is, is, is very slow. We, oh, it's very slow. I actually, is it is mirroring in my phone. Um, yes, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> my computer yeah. is full. I mean, so yeah, I mean, in that case, you need to change it. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's frustrating when you turn on the computer because you want to work or, some, or do something else. And it doesn't work, right? It, or it's very slow, loading and loading and loading the information. And you're like, like in a hurry. And you want that everything finish like, 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 you know, like in a hurry, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I, 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 I waiting for the plane in the, in, 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 in frozen the screen. Yes. <laughs> It's very yeah. <laughs> just imagine if you open up a Microsoft Word and PowerPoint at the same time and you're working in there and it got freeze. <laughs> yeah. It's like this one. It's this one. This one it gets slow when there is updates. You know what is updated? Yeah. Updates. Yeah. Updates. Update, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's hard sometimes. Yeah, and actually it is let me see. Two days ago, yeah, two days ago, the update was from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now it, it has Windows 11. Uh, the update, the update was automatically, and now it has Windows 11. And I don't know how because I didn't, I didn't admit it, but automatically it did it itself. The computer itself changed it from Windows. Yeah, it's changed the window. When we change window 11, uh, um, doesn't work. Ah, really? Yeah, when with window 10, mm -hmm. work, work well. <laughs> now, what I, what I see from this window is that, the, you know, like the, the little windows, las ventanas, o el botón de inicio, so you know the, the, the starting button no está en la esquina, sino que están centrados todos en medio. Uh -huh. All of them are on the middle. You know, it's like, it's raro. That's weird, man. It's really weird. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, man, I had to get accustomed to it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, how about with the homework? How are we with the homework, Carlos? In the platform. Do you have access uh, to the platform, right? Really, I don't have any time for wearing the platform, but today or tomorrow I work in my platform. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Today or tomorrow. There you go. So then it's a deal. So today or tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, so if you don't have any other question, uh, I will just um, send the text message and the picture just to show the topic that I'm going to put in the discussion section in the platform, and that's going to be everything, okay? okay. And let's see then tomorrow in the fourth video conference, okay? Okay. All right, Carlos, have a good night. Good night, teacher. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.